Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna get started with um, priming my eyes with my base. Um, this is my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the color Tan. Um, this is my holy grail until I get my P. Louise face. So this is what I'll be using. Gonna dab that on there, like that. I am so in a Christmas spirit, y'all. My house is coming along so good. Um, my mom is so creative, so like we're all just working together. You know, getting the decorations all in order. So I'm going to just pat this into place. And I will not set my base. <laughs> Alright. So I'm feeling really green. I think that's what I want to go with is a green. So I'm going to take my Morphe M441 blending brush. And I'm taking my two Juvia's Place palettes. One is the Masquerade and the other one is the Magic Mini. These two. And the first shade is going to be Nana. And it's like that pretty orangey shade. And I'm going to just apply that right in my crease. And I'm going for more of a rounded eye look. But it will not be a halo eye. I know that's how normally rounded eye looks end up being as a halo. But no ma'am. This is such a pretty um, transition shade. If a hair get in my eye, I swear. Okay. Are any of my subscribers from New Orleans? I know I have a few. <laughs> because a few of you are my friends. <laughs> so, are y'all going to Christmas in the Oaks this year? I mean, I haven't been since high school, but I want to go back just because, I mean, in high school, you would just worry about going there, you would just worry about being seen, and you know, you just had to make your presence, but now, I mean, is it really just about going and enjoy the time, or if you have a little date date, then you know, okay? So now, as I dig through my so many brushes to find the one I want, I'm gonna take my Morphe M514 brush, it's just a smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna stay in the Magic Mini right now and I'm gonna go with Zakia. It's like more of a actual burnt orange shade. So hopefully it pop up good. And I'm gonna put that in my deeper crease feeling like y'all my Christmas colors are like pink that I'm gonna give you I'm not gonna give y'all a sneak peek because I will do a vlog showing my little apartment tour um of my Christmas decorations because I'm very proud of them uh, so I'm just keeping putting this in my crease Ugh. and then I'm gonna go back with the other by the blending brush that I use for Nana and just to make sure we don't lose her. Since they're both like in the orange tones, you know you don't, you wanna go back and forth. So now I'm gonna go into the Masquerade palette and I'm going with Ada. It's like a really, now this is a deep burnt, um, like reddish shade. I know, there we go, okay. So it's like this color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the brush I used yesterday it is the Morphe um, 562 brush. It's a really small, small crease brush. So it gets right in there. So that's why I want to use this one. I'm going to use this to get right in the crease. And I'm going to take another Morphe brush to kind of um, blow it out a little bit towards the top. So I'm going to go back in with the Morphe um, M514. So you also want it to blend out. So, I mean, the crease brushes are nice because it gets right in there for you. But everything got a blend, girl. I 
Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go into, out of the mascara palette, it's gonna be Falani. That's pretty.24 brush to do my cut creases right and I found a cool trick was to first to flatten it out really good is with the next glitter glue and it was bomb uh, like it was so flat and stuff and let it like really dry yes girl it's a game changer so to cut my crease I'm gonna be using my tart shape tape my other holy grail And as far as in the back right here, it don't always matter because I'm gonna blend back in anyways. First, I'm gonna blend in my um, my edges. So I'm gonna go in with Adia out of the Masquerade palette. And you wanna get that blended at least back in a little. So first I'm taking Adia. back to the shimmer I was gonna take Buzo which is this really deep green I'm gonna do it first without spraying my brush just to see how I like it drag that out over the colors that you just blended because you're gonna have to do a double back so you're gonna have to go back in with the other shade you know you want everything to blend together this is a really pretty green though then go back over again so oh, now I'm gonna take these my same Urban Decay brush and I'm gonna go into Yara. Now Yara is hitting more of the blues, like the tailish blues, but I think it's gonna mix pretty with the green. And I hope you can tell the difference. Don't worry, I'm gonna make you tell the difference if you can't, because it's kind of blending together. Even though I thought it would be, I thought you would be able to see the difference, but I guess not. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to add another color. So it's a make. Um, Yara stick out a little more. I'm gonna mix like a ro rose gold with it. So I'm gonna take the Daya. I'm gonna take Daya out of the Masquerade palette and mix with this. color we're gonna bring to this look is this lime green glitter 
Come on, focus. So what I'm gonna do is take my NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna put some of that on my hand because you don't want to take a brush and actually rub it. You just want to rub this on your hand. You just want to pat where you want it at. Lord, and take it and pat it on there. You guys think? I think it's cute. Um, I'll go ahead and put some mascara on. I'm using my um, Bare Mineral Lash Topia mascara. I faithfully use this one always. To prime, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Master Primer. So I'm taking my Born This Way foundation in the shade Maple. This is another holy girl for me. And I'm gonna take that on my Real Techniques buffering brush okay guys so now I'm gonna just take my red technique sponge and I'm gonna just pat this in so make sure there's no streaks or anything and just to make it blend into the skin perfect so now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again in the color Tan Sand to highlight. Make sure I kind of bring it down. I don't put the concealer on my lip, but I'll drag what's on the sponge to um, above my lip. All right, so to set, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. My shade is number 20, which is light medium. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M536 brush. Just like this, so it's really, it can get right underneath the eye. And I do not um, bake, so after I do that on one side, I just go ahead and wipe. this ghostly looking look right now I'm gonna go in with my black radiance finishing powder this is in the color milk chocolate and I'm taking my real techniques contour brush and it's just I love how this warms up the face because it's not really a contour powder, it's a finishing powder. So you know you can use it to just go back in all over if it matches your skin tone, you know. It just so happens this shade is a good contour shade for me. Um, and so it's like a bronzing actually. I buy the bronze and contour so much now. Um, I like the warmth look rather than the sculpted look, but let's not get me wrong, for some looks I wanna be snatch okay so after setting and all that i like to spray with my Too faced hangover rx spray just to make everything melt back together okay so now we're gonna go ahead and do my under eye 
So what I want to use is I want to pop a color in here somewhere. So I think I'm going to go with a pink. And I'm going to go with Bori. Bori Bori. Bori Bori. It's this pretty, pretty pink. Come on. Right there, yeah. I'm sorry, my roommate is whistling. Like she don't hear me recording. Cute. Okay, so with this same little um compact, it's the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Pomegranate Blush and Highlight Duo. So this is how it looks. It's so cute. Let me see if I can show y'all the inside. If you haven't played with these already, you are missing out. And so I like to mix my blush in with my contour powder also. I.e. why you put the blush. Well, I put it all the way at least the same place I put my bronzer contour. Now I'm taking my Morphe M532 brush to use the highlighter side. And we're just going to highlight this. And I like that it's a pinkish highlighter because I mix. So mixing it with gold makes the perfect color for me. Sometimes I look crazy right away. <laughs> okay, so the highlighter I mix it with is of course the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Um, you know, it's in the shade Molten Gold. Yeah. All right, you guys. So back to my big old Ardell lash book. I love so much. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna line my lips with my next brown lip liner. It's in the color Mason. Okay, so I'm going to be using one of my ColourPop glosses. It's called Fantasia. Okay, so I'm gonna finish it all off by spraying with my Morphe setting spray. Okay. Now, some me spray my face. I had to answer the phone. So, I'm gonna go put on some clothes just to look a little better to finish this video off. And I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look. I think it's really cute, really holiday-ish. What is in my hair? Yes, I think it's very cute, very holiday-ish. Um, I love how the pink pops out the green. Yes, it just all flows together. The highlight is popping. The highlight is on point here. Um, the lip gloss is popping. I really like it. It's cute. It's so good for my first holiday tutorial of 2018. So I love it. Um, I definitely have grown with my craft. Definitely. But yeah. So this is it.